So time for the four big finals. Next then, and the first one up is the shorter version of the Paul Moores final. This is a three mile five furlong event over the Grand National Course and the top one is Shamanel Phantom for Thomas Rogers. Fearless Amy Ryan Tamasebi, Gallagher Origin Martin Leedham, Under Taurus, Craig Allen, Maritza Thomas Rogers, Strong Wigmore, James Shea, Carisola, Limerick, David Robertson, Pondering Poet for Graham Clutterbuck, Robin Knights and Griffin Guests for Darren Thompson, Bucco for Martin Leedham, Gecko Seal for Graham Clutterbuck, Put the Kettle on David Hooley, Eager and Keen probably will be the front runner for Graham Clutterbuck and Labanese for Craig Beckwith. So just 15 then, nice Decent sized sort of field have been qualified for this all season long and should be a good one. They're called in and they're away. And we're over the national fences as well, of course. And they make their way towards the first. And over it they go. Although we had the Grand National the other week, there weren't many for us, so it might not be quite the daunting event that it could have once been. But it's eager and keen, as we thought, who's gone on into the lead and will race down towards the second. And the second is the canal turn. So, you know, oh, and he's gone. Eager and Keen just jumped straight into it. And that's Eager and Keen out of the race. So, Eager and Keen wasn't all that keen today, it would seem. And put the kettle on has now gone on into the lead as they take Valentine's. And over that one they go and put the kettle on. He's in front from Fearless Amy. The horse in second. The grey there is Carisolo Limerick as we're just seem to be looking at them a little bit from behind but it's putting the kettle on who's in the lead from Gecko Sul and Maritza then Fearless Amy and Shamanel Phantom Carisola Limerick is after that one as they get over the next this missing down towards the next fence and there's almost about seven or eight of them in a line as they get over that one Maritza on the far side might be just about in front. Put the kettle on closest to us. It's difficult to tell really with a mixture of the angle and the fact that we just appear to be tracking them from a little bit behind from where we normally do. And it's Maritza. And now Gecko Shield has come on the pace. He's not very hot. And I presume that is down to the fact that Eager and Keen departed the race early on because that one normally goes from the front. But it's pretty strange to only have the one out and out front runner in these long distance races there's normally a couple of them this could get quite interesting you can see they're pretty tightly grouped and Gecko Seal is in the lead coming out of this next one as they get over it we've just lost the one still so far Fearless Amy now on the inside has come through to take it up from Gecko Seal and Maritza and then put the kettle on and Pondering Poet is after that one and then Shabadal Phantom Gallagher region on the inside as they take the next. And they're all safely over that one. And Fearless Amy and Maritza. As they come down there then. To the chair. And all up and over that one without any problems at all. And now down towards the water jump, then they'll swing out for a full complete circuit of the Grand National Course and Maritza leads over the water from Fearless Amy on the inside second and Pondering Poet third. Shemadal Phantom is four and then Gecko Sword and put the kettle on and Robin Knights and Gallagher Origin and then Bucco and then Under Taurus with Stroll Wigmore and Labanese and Carisola Limerick is just the back marker. Fearless Amy on this long run then towards the next the fence that is the first in the Grand National and will be the first in the second of the Paul Moore's finals the one that is over the exact Grand National trip, four miles, three and a half furlongs, and Fearless Amy has now gone a full four lengths clear of Pondering Poet in second, and Gecko Seal in third. You can see in this race, of course, if he qualifies, so there's no need to be just two runners. Grand Clutterbuck had three in it, and they get to the 11th. A really good jump there by Bucco. I've seen that one jump right up into second, but it's Fearless Amy in the lead from Bucco in second as they take the second all oh, Bucco runs straight through that one and so too towards the back did Maritza who was up in the lead early on and has now dropped right to the back as too as Gallagher Origin and also put the kettle on and the pace must be quickening a bit then now Fearless Amy in the lead as they take this big ditch and over that one they all go and they all got over it okay Fearless Amy in front Pondering Poet second Bucco third and then Robin Knights on the inside has moved through in a fourth then Shamanel Phantom and under Taurus and Griffin Guest as they take the next 
And over that one they all go, and they're all safely over that one as well. As they come down to the one before Beaches with Fearless Amy. Clear by four, Bucko just showing second ahead of Pondering Poet. As they get over that one, the back marker now is Gallagher Origin. But it's Fearless Amy who's going to lead them into Beaches Brook with a lead of about three lengths. To Robin Knights in second. And under Taurus third, then Pondering Poet. And over Beaches they go. All safely over that one with Gallagher Origin still the back marker and Fearless Amy still the leader. Fearless Amy, Robin Knights, Gecko, Sewell then coming down towards the one after beaches, the four and over fence and over it they go. Mistake again at the back there by Maritza and Gallagher Origin. It's difficult to see either of them two getting into it. They keep jumping like that and they're racing now down towards the canal turn and it's Fearless Amy who is in the lead but being pressed by Gecko, Sewell and Labanese and Griffin Guest as they get down to it. And over it they go, and this time they all get over it okay, but the field is beginning to bunch again now. And Bucko was a minute ago up in second, is now last but one with his stable mate Gallagher Origin last. But it's no more than about 15 lengths between a lot of them as they get over Valentine's, and they're all over that one okay as well. With Gecko Sewell in the lead from Lebanese and Fearless Amy. The race is on in earnest now, and it's Gecko Sewell who leads by about ahead as they get over the 20th. Over that one then, Lebanese is second, Fearless Amy's now back in third, then Robin Knights and Marie the grey Carisolo Limerick is going well on the outside. Bucko's now switched to the inside. Gallagher Origin is getting back into it over the 21st. They go and Stroll Wigmore was a faller there. So Stroll Wigmore's the second one to depart the race. They've got three more fences to take. They got this last one down this part of the track and they'll swing towards home and the two in the straight. That's the third last over it. They go and another one down there. His Griffin Guest has gone. So Griffin Guest is out of it. Labanese is now the leader. Labanese from Fearless Amy. Maritza who's come right back through again. Then comes Gecko Sewell and then Carisolo Limerick. Then after that one, Pondering Poet, Ramadan Knights and Shamadal Phantom are trying to run on as well. Then comes Bucko and Gallagher Origin also trying to get back into it. It's wide open with two to jump. And it's Fearless Amy who's in the lead on the inside from Labanese and Maritza. Then comes Carisolo Limerick, Gecko Sewell, Shamadal Phantom coming right around the outside onto Taurus. Bucko's back in it again. Gallagher Origin put the kettle on trying to get up the inside. It's wide open now. Ding dong battle as they come down towards the final two fences. It's all going to come down to the jumping. Fearless Amy and Labanese. Fearless Amy jumped it just a better but under Taurus up the centre of the track goes on. Gecko Sewell tries to fight back. Bucko's trying to get into it. So too's put the kettle on. They come down towards the final fence then now. And it's Gecko Sewell in the lead. Fearless Amy on the inside. Up the centre of the track is under Taurus. Over the final fence they go. Under Taurus jumped it better. Under Taurus might be just in front of Gecko Sewell. Then comes Fearless Amy. Put the kettle on. Maritza Labanese. Shamadal Phantom. Bucko's got nothing left. Gallagherian trying to run on so too's Robin Knights, but it's Gecko Sewell as they come to the elbow. Gecko Sewell's in the lead from under Taurus. Fearless Amy put the kettle on. He's now bursting through and put the kettle on. Looks the big danger to Gecko Sewell. Gecko Sewell by a neck. He comes put the kettle on. Maritza throwing out a big chance. They flash past the post and Gecko Sewell took it. Gecko Sewell hanging on to win the first of the Paul Moore's finals in a thrilling race. And what a finish that was as well. There was about seven or eight of them jumping the last could still have won that one and Gecko Sewell takes it and I wouldn't be at all surprised if he's not been plotting that all season long Graham Clutterbuck because he likes to win these races and he had three in it he had one fall and that one must have been he must have been expecting that one to make the running as well so Gecko Sewell takes it for Graham Clutterbuck put the kettle on for David Hooley was second Maritza for Thomas Rogers third Fearless Amy for Ryan Tamas every fourth and Shamadal Phantom for Thomas Rogers was fifth.